Frost and Westburn Grant. Vic, tremendous performance. Yeah, yeah, fantastic. The race went uh, virtually according to plan. Yeah, well, um, you know, I, I, he, uh, he's been drawing sort of bad in the, in the heats and uh, we were hoping we'd sort of get that, that sort of luck in the final, like, you know, and it's, uh, it's come through. Like, you know, we got, that, we got that bit of luck. Greg Miles was saying it was a fairly slow middle half of the race. Was that the way you expected it to go? Um, yeah, well, I, I suppose, uh, you know, when those horses moved up, like that sort of done a little bit of work and... Uh, I knew, uh, I knew the other horse sort of couldn't sort of make me sort of work any harder, so I, I took a bit of a breather in the centre, yeah. yeah. And that early move that uh, Brian Gatt was talking about with Franco Tiger never happened? Uh, I had to work pretty hard to damn get the lead off him. <laughs> I, had to, I had to accelerate up pretty damn hard. And what about the importance of this uh, training down in the uh, Gippsland on the beaches, that sort of thing? Yeah, uh, well, I can't, I can't get him right anywhere else, only on the beach. The highlight of your career? Ah, oh, most definitely, most definitely, yep. Yeah. Well, Vic, it's a marvellous performance. Congratulations. And very well done. The Inter-Dominion 1992. Thanks very much. Thank you. It was bloody great to be here, mate. I'm telling you. I've been, been a damn lot of years trying to get an Inter-Dominion, but I got one. And Vic Frost, Westburn Grant. Yes, yeah, one of the characters, one of the greats of harness racing. And uh, I'm sure there'll be a, a big party coming up tonight. A well-deserved win as he accepts the uh, congratulations of the gathering throng. The official... Uh, Margins a metre by three, a short half head to the fourth horse. The mile rate 159.4, so the overall time is only two tenths of outside the track record here. Uh, he's run quick overall time, last mile 159.4, and the last half 59.1. But a race that was completely dominated by Westburn Grant and Vic Frost.